When I first came on this island, it was 1990, and I was here for two days, and I instantly fell in love with this place. I think that's how it is for a lot of people that come here. So there's something definitely really special about this island, but what it is, it's something to do with the energy here. I don't know, I mean, maybe it's the fact that you've got hundreds of thousands of people all coming to the one place with all this real excitement and positive energy, and that just radiates through the island. I don't know what it is, but this place is special. When you live here, there's almost a sense of the island is taken over and you really see it in the space of like two weeks, the amount of people that start arriving. From many years ago, in Ibiza, it was a sort of label. The season starts when space is opening, you know? And uh, I'm very fair about it and I'm very happy that this is so. First time actually in space, I remember I didn't know anybody and everybody saying hello, beautiful people, sexy people, it's, it's like an adventure. The space opening signifies the beginning of the season, right from the very early days in Ibiza. And as the years have gone by, the space opening has grown. You know, I think for the last five, six, seven years, they've used the car park. So I think it's so special because the people is so full of energy. It's so full of wanting to go out, to dance, to listen to the music. It's like uh, when you buy like a toy and it's full battery, like taka, 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 taka. Yeah. I mean, one thing's for sure, the space opening and space closing will always bring a huge bed of talent. And there's a lot of room, so they have a chance to display different kinds of music on these big parties. Steve, uh, he's been here much before than me. Music-wise, he's uh, an amazing DJ. He knows the terrace better than many staff. Hey Joe, how you doing, you alright? Um, so listen, I need you to book those flights for Detlef for coming over um, for the opening. He doesn't know yet, obviously, um, about his plane, so be careful with what you say. But um, yeah, get the flight sorted and the hotel sorted. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see his face, yeah. Wicked. Alright mate, uh, just email me all the confirmation details, alright? Cheers. Γεια σα, είμαι ο Άλεξ. Το όνομα που γράφω μουσική είναι Detlef. Είμαι από τη Θεσσαλονίκη, στην Ελλάδα. Είναι μια πόλη βόρεια τη Ελλάδα, η οποία είναι πολύ ωραία γιατί είναι δίπλα στη θάλασσα και έχει πολύ ωραίο κόσμο. Γκριζ, you have to remember two things. No problem and easy. <laughs> it's easy. Everything is easy. And everybody is a friend. I live in a country where the weather is fantastic and there is a lot of hospitality, the people are very kind. I have all of my friends here, I have my family here. Everything is positive. <laughs> my studio is at my place. I would never have a studio away from my place because you wake up, you go in the living room, you watch TV and then all of a sudden you say, I have to make music. It's the thing that I want to do all the time. If I didn't have music, I think that I wouldn't have a lot of things to do. So I am the woman of uh, this house, and sometimes he's a very bad boy. And oh. yes, no. she helps me a lot. To be honest, yes, yeah, she does. She does everything in the house. Yes. Yeah, but yes. Which is yes. a good thing. So. So. Uh, so. So yeah, there is also there is so, always a so or a so. always a but. So the thing is that uh, 
thing is the, um, the right girlfriend for you. Definitely. Ah. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Joy agrees. Yes. 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 I know that he's trying very hard for uh, the music, the thing he likes most of all. So I follow his dream. When I started producing music, there were only a few clubs which were uh, really underground. When uh, the economical uh, thing in Greece started going really bad, then the music scene started fading out because the people that don't have money, they have to cut out some expenses. They don't have the luxury to spend money on having fun. The economical crisis in Greece affected everything. My favorite record store just shut down. All of my friends work here. Everybody. Like crazy. It's really difficult for a store like this to, to work properly in our city. People doesn't have uh, the money to spend on buying records. Now, uh, the scene is like uh, held by a few clubs, small bars, that are trying really hard to support the scene. Tonight we're going to the place where I play. It's called The Real uh, Rock and Roller. It's a really good place, uh, really cool people. It's a small place, it's not very big, but uh, everybody's having fun inside there. I mean, it's, I'm really lucky for, to have a place like this to play here in our town. Music uh, helps me a lot to escape from all these uh, economic things that happen in Greece. I mean, it's my antidote. I spend so many hours on doing music. I don't have to think about anything else. And I mean, I'm so excited when I do music. I'm so happy and I'm just so focused on what I'm doing. So I don't have like the time to think about what's happening outside. So I got a call today from uh, Viva Music uh, offices. Uh, they have arranged a trip for me to go to Ibiza next week, which is a great opportunity for me to work with uh, Steve maybe for a track for my album and also to explore the island. I know that it's quite tough in Greece for a lot of people, including Alex. You know, for a DJ at Alex's level at this point in his career, it's very difficult. So yeah, I'm kind of glad that we're putting some time into Alex now. I think it's perfect timing for him personally. I've heard a lot of stories about the design. Most of them are uh, pretty fantastic. So yeah, I think that I will have my story also there. <laughs> I hope to have one. You know, the whole development with Detlef has been a case of really focusing on his album. I know he's very, very talented. When I first heard him sending me music, I heard it then. So I trust that he'll write a great album. Okay. 
When you ask me, do I speak Spanish? I'm telling you. Ah, poquito. Very little. But oh, I'm telling you in Spanish. Yeah. You see the see the trick there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I see the trick. <laughs> now I got it. Okay. I used to play in Thessaloniki years ago. In decadent. Decadent, yeah. Yeah. I was there. He was there. <laughs> I used to be a resident there. Oh, okay. Do you still do parties? No, unfortunately the, the club was closed. That was a great club as well. Yeah, it was. But the economy is like so bad. Yeah. We had like a great dancing. Yeah, they had a great scene. Yeah. Yeah. But here, man, here it's insane. What, in Ibiza? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, this is, this is the clubbing mecca of the world, I think. Coffee, how many sugars? Five? Uh, not five, it's the one full. <laughs> <laughs> not just about work, I want to welcome Alex into my home and you know, be relaxed and then do the gig, have a great time, that's what it's all about. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah, it makes your brain like spin faster. <laughs> 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 Alex, thank you so much. Across the studio, yeah. yeah. Do you want to grab your stuff and bring it down? Yes. Oh my god, I'm spilling the coffee over your place. <laughs> oh, it's nice. I like the place, Steve. Yeah, it's good, huh? And maybe you can have like a sleepover there in the wall when yeah, you're so tired. Stand up. <laughs> this. this is where I sleep. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Oh man, I wish I had a swimming pool in my studio. It's like so yeah, nice. Believe me, making music here is so much better than making it at my place in Birmingham or London. Trust me. Oh, these are all new, right? Yeah. You see, for me to make music, I can't just come in here with one day a week, sit down and on order, make a track. It just doesn't work that way for me. The creative process means I need to be in here just messing around with music. And then I just get these ideas and then I start putting them down and, and then I'll bring an engineer in to help me finish the track. And the whole process needs time for me. I need to be absolutely relaxed for me to be able to even be in a position where I want to make a record. You, in my mind, is more of an artist than a DJ. Oh, thank you very much, mate. But is that true or not? Yeah, I mean, I love playing live. Yeah, yeah I love, I love. So that's how we, that's how we want to, that's how we should put it out there, as natural as it is. You know, tell the truth, this is what it is. You're more of an artist and that's what comes first. That's the important thing. Every single man and his dog and his grandpa is a DJ right now. Uh, and there's a million DJs out there and and now because the technology uh, has advanced so much, Anyone Hannah's could DJ. DJ. No disrespect, but you know, it's <laughs> yeah. just like, you know, you know, he's a manager, but he could like, you know, download tractor, press sync and off he goes. Yeah. You know, and that's not what you are. You're an artist. And that's kind of how I see it being in the future anyway. You know? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, me too. I really like Detlef, Alex, as a guy, he's uh, a really nice guy and I want to sort of show him the island and get him all excited. We'll be going to Sankey's tonight um, <laughs> to hang out, see a few people. I want to show people the club, what kind of atmosphere you can get in a room like that in Ibiza. It's not following the normal rules of an Ibiza club and that's part of the reason why I like it. You know, it's, it's underground in the true meaning of underground. I mean, this is quite a big gig for, for Alex, you know, he's on a big stage where there will be almost 10,000 people in front of him. I think he's going to shit himself, to be honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> I've always done the space opening and closing. So, you know, I feel quite lucky uh, for that because it's a great party to play, but for me it goes beyond that because of the whole the whole family at space, the whole all the workers, and it's nice to see everybody again that you've not seen for, for quite some time. Hi Steve, are you doing all right here? Yeah, no problem. Space at the beginning was very, very 